Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to another episode of Straight Kicking It. And I'm your host, Oscar Dixon. There you go. And we are here at the beach again. Because you know I love the beach. It's been quite some time since we made a video. Talk about things. We got part of the things we can talk about. Let you guys get a view of it. You be here with me in spirit. Like, it's cool. But, uh, yeah, let's start off real quick with, uh, let's go ahead and jump in the, to the NBA and, uh, and this new energy that, uh, John Morant has been kicking off. I won't necessarily say new energy, but, uh, he's been in the league for about, what, like, three, maybe two, three years, I believe. But, uh, it feels like just recently, I don't know if those are new, um, Memphis Grizzly jerseys or if I think those are new Memphis Grizzly jerseys that that look way better than the old ones with the big Grizzly bear on it. I don't really care for those. It made me not want to even watch watch the game. So I like really never tuned into a Memphis a Memphis basketball game and really paid attention until until a jock came on the scene and then uh, the game seemed like it got exciting again. It got a uh, He's sort of steering it away from all of the, uh, the non-contact that's going on in the sport these days. Do really like that contact, so you know he's really into posterizing guys and uh, embarrassing people. So, but uh, so NBA John Moran. I also read somewhere an article. But I'm not sure if it's true or not. I'll do more research. But he's supposed to be uh, signed to Bread Game Entertainment. I believe he might be end up. He might end up rapping. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't know if he raps or not. But uh, I read somewhere that he signed with uh, Bread Game. That's a uh, Money Bag Yo's. Um, that's his record label with a uh, Money Bag Yo's record label. So it seems like. Money bag yo might have him a, a franchise artist. I don't know many, I don't know how many artists he has. You know, but uh Yeah, I think he's definitely on the team. So shouts out to those guys. That's gonna be a new look for uh for the NBA and for uh Money Bag um ENT. When you think about the uh the transfers of uh the different exposure that they're going to have. I mean, a lot of the NBA, I believe, I would like to think that a lot of the NBA crowd is into hip hop, but I mean, you just never know these days because uh, hip hop has uh, some type of a dark cloud over it right now. So, not a lot of people like really crazy hip hop right now. But anyway, what we got next? Um, I guess we could talk about movies or something. Batman. The latest install, uh, installation of uh, the new Batman movie. I kept falling asleep on it. I didn't even make it to the theater. I heard that um, they were charging, like they was trying to upsell or something on the debut. So I don't know if it was like 20 bucks a ticket or you know something more than that. But that was immediately a turn off as soon as I heard something about they was trying to Price gouge or something. I don't know. There's all types of rumors. But, uh, yeah. So, I ended up waiting for it to come on, uh, I think it was Hulu or HBO Now or something, HBO. And, uh, I fell asleep on it repeatedly. Numerous times. It was a very dark movie. It didn't seem like, uh, you could see a lot going on in the movie. But, uh, you saw it. Well, I saw half of it, and then I fell asleep on the rest of it. <laughs> but, uh, so, after Batman, there was, uh, recently, I think it was Spider-Man. I'm not a big fan of Spider-Man. But, uh, it just so happened that Doctor Strange was in this episode, so I tried to watch that. If I remember right, but hey, once again, I fell asleep on it. Sorry, not sorry, but, uh, yeah, I'm just not into Spider-Man like that, you know? I don't know what it is. It's just, it was kind of cool to see all the Spider-Man from, uh, you know, past past movies or whatever from back in the day. You know? but it, 
it, things didn't get excited until uh, Dr. Strange showed up. So, after that came uh, Dr. Strange's uh, new movie. Now, I haven't seen that yet, but uh, I, like, I like Dr. Strange for some reason, so I definitely want to go out and see that one. Other things can we talk about? I guess we could talk about running, which there's there's been no running whatsoever going on. I actually I signed up for a race last weekend, but never made it out. So it's just another constant struggle of working and trying to train for a run. It's just, it's just clashing right now because right now I'm standing up working. So the last thing I want to do when I get off work is start running, so, especially after been standing up all day, but. Eventually, you know what I'm saying, things will switch up again and uh, I'll be back to sitting down working and we'll be back to running, you know? So, it'll probably take a couple months because I got some things I need to take care of, but uh, let's see what's next. Um, let's talk about poker, I guess. Um, during the summer, I had a little bit of a break, so I was able to get it in a little bit more than often, so I ended up playing like I don't know, maybe three, four times a week all throughout the summer. You know what I'm saying? Really damaged the bank account because your boy was in that thing like just trying to learn and just trying to practice and, you know, try new things. So I blew a lot of money. I ain't gonna lie. I blew, I blew quite a bit of money. So now I got, uh, I got my, I got my poker face, you know what I'm saying? Somewhat together. You know, I got some new tricks on my sleeve and all that. So. Definitely stay tuned for that. I think uh, I'm gonna try and dive into something this summer. A little bit more expensive. A, uh, a little bit bigger buy-in because it seems like uh, you get the better experience. And the, uh, the, it seems like I, I get better results when people are taking the game more seriously and they buy in for you know, $400 or more. It seems like people take it a little bit more seriously. It's not just like 40 60, 80, $120 or something. So you buying in for four hundred dollars. Ain't, ain't too many people rebuying for four hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna see how that plays out. Last time I jumped in there, I got like I got like sixteen plays or something. So I made it like just to the point to where you can uh, you can re they'll give you refund your money. So it kind of sucked, but at the same time, it was, it was almost like free practice because once you made the 16th place, I, I forgot how many people were in it. It wasn't that big of a tournament, maybe, I don't know, maybe 100 people. I don't even think it was 100 people, but I came in like 16th and I got my little $400 back. So that was cool. I sat there and played for like maybe six, seven hours. It had to be. So, I jumped in a 250 about two three weeks ago. Now that one we had a little, uh, a few more customers, a few more players in it. Like I want to say, uh, I want to say it was close to 200 players. I think it was like 208 or something. But I came in like 55th or 56, 56 place. So that was cool, you know. But I don't know. Whenever you, whenever you all out of chips, you always think about the stuff you could have did differently. But, uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be fun or something. As long as we budget correctly, we'll be, uh, we might be able to get some results. <laughs> but anyway, just wanted to holler at y'all real quick, let you know what's going on. We got plenty of other stuff we can talk about, but it's hot. And it's gonna be like another couple hours before the sun sets. So, I just got to holler at y'all next go around. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, get up, get out, and straight kick it.